Okay, this is a very basic uh, initial tutorial with Logic, um, looking at creating a new project and uh, basic file management for your Logic project. So, when you uh, fire up your operating system on a Mac, then uh, you're looking to load up Logic, you're looking for an icon down on your dock, um, which looks like a little platinum disc, that's Logic Pro Audio. If it doesn't, ha uh, if it's not there for some reason, then if you click on the search icon in the top right hand corner, the spotlight, you can type in Logic there and it will show the program um, if it's correctly installed uh, as an application. Okay, so um, let's uh, click on the icon and start Logic Pro. Uh, okay. Um, when it starts, it looks initially like there's nothing there and nothing's happening, but Logic has opened. Um, you can tell by uh, the fact that it says Logic Pro in the top uh, on the, on the drop-down menus. Um, if you click on the file drop-down menu, we're going to go to New and create a new project. So you get this uh, pop-up box. Gives you a range of different options. You can start a new empty project. Um, you can then specify what tracks you have and you can kind of build your own uh, template depending on what it is you're doing, whether you're working in the studio or sequencing, um, and you can build your project to suit your own needs. And then there are some other kind of uh, templates that Logic have uh, already created for you. So we've got ones uh, here for guitar tones, if you're inputting a guitar into Logic through your sound card and you want a selection of different guitar sort of options, um, template for loading up a whole range of different instruments that Logic has built in. Uh, depending on whether you're doing a composition, there's some pre-made templates as well which can help speed up the process. If you wanted to get straight into doing, for example, hip-hop, then it'll probably load up a range of uh, drum machines and bass sounds and things that uh, are appropriate for hip-hop music production, for example. And uh, other production templates as well for uh, sort of recording in the studio, doing surround sound mixes and sound for film. So there are some preset templates, but to really get to grips with Logic, I think it's uh, good to start with an empty project and build your own. So we're going to click on empty project. First thing that happens when Logic starts, it gives you the option um, to create a track or a number of different tracks. Uh, there's three different types of tracks you can create, audio, software, instrument and external MIDI. We're going to look at those in a bit more detail uh, in another tutorial. Um, but for now, if you just uh, hit create, excellent. So Logic starts up. Um, going to do another video tutorial looking at all the uh, different windows and all the different knobs, buttons and switches that you can see. But for now, uh, let's just keep looking at file management. Um, you need to save your project. It's a good idea to save your project um, straight away um, and save it to a hard drive space. So go to file and save as uh, on these computers that we have in the college. Um, the best place to save your project is into the Mac hard drive. If you can't see that and you're just getting that kind of option, it's because that arrow needs to be pressed. Okay, so that gives the expanded kind of uh, folder hierarchy view. Click on the Mac hard drive, scratch folder, and give your project a name. So I'm going to call this test project. Okay, give you some other options as well. Um, you can copy external audio files into your project folder. I would recommend you keep that ticked. So when you start dragging uh, different files in from different places, samples, loops, whatever, then it will uh, automatically copy those over to your project folder. It keeps everything contained. You can move back up your work onto USB stick and move around from computer to computer without suddenly uh, audio files disappearing and going elsewhere. If you are creating instruments and using a sample instrument, the ESX24, then if you are generating your own instruments, then it's definitely worth um, making a copy of the ESX Instruments project folder and copying all the ESX samples into a project folder. Um, you'll be able to then move from system to system and take your homemade uh, instruments with you. Um, and again, 
if moving from computer to computer is an important thing, then uh, it may also be worth copying over your UltraBeat samples if you've imported new samples into the UltraBeat. Um, space designer impulse responses as well um, if you're creating your own reverbs, but more on that in another tutorial. Uh, if you're doing movies and sound for film, then I would strongly recommend that you uh, copy your movie files into your project folder as well. Uh, I'm just going to take that off. Okay, brilliant. So as soon as you don't need to create a new project or, or a new folder or anything like that, because as soon as you type in the name of the project, it will generate a folder for you. So I'm just going to call this test project and hit save. Excellent. Okay, now if I have a look uh, in that folder now that we just created, I'll click on Finder and I'm going to go Mac hard drive scratch folder and we called it test project which is just down here okay fantastic so you can see there there's the logic project has this uh, small icon looks like a little sort of piano roll and inside there you have an audio files folder as well so every bit of audio you use everything you record will be dropped inside that folder and organized for you um, if you start doing edits as well and fades on the audio, it will generate a fades folder and it will also create um, a visual overviews folder as well for all audio files imported. If you want to move your project around um, from system to system, you need to back up your whole project folder, that will be this one here, onto the USB key and then you can move it around. And that's how to uh, manage your files in Logic.